Hello. It's Icy. I'm here with a new game, The Talos Principle. To preface this, preface this, I know next to nothing about this game. Not a thing. Apart from the fact it's a puzzle game, that's about it. Oh, actually, I think we will watch this. Roman garden? Greek? I'm actually not sure. Let's go with Roman, because I think it sounds like they're singing in Italian or Latin. So yeah, I, the reason I have this game uh, was... Somebody I follow on Twitter said that this game was available for one day only, free from the Epic Store, and I went, sure, why not? Uh, it's been described as a combination of Mist and Asimov and oh, I forgot the other thing they described it as. So, I mean, it's my, it's my jam, basically. All right, here we go. Alright, ooh, options. What have we got? Whoa! Keyboard and mouse. That is genuinely elegant. Uh, yeah, we're already in full screen, but it's not true full screen because I can. The mouse can actually go off onto the second monitor, but that's okay. Uh. I mean, it should be fine, right? Performance? GPU speed. Oh, CPU speed. Ultra. Okay, great. Oh, actually, auto detect. Yes. Okay, apply. Obviously, it thinks my CPU is not good enough. Man, that's not brand new. Alright. So, sound. I think we're just going to turn the master volume down a tad because it does seem quite loud. Um, let's actually turn the effects down because that little bouncy noise is mildly annoying. Okay. What have we got under advance? Show HUD, show time. Auto letterbox, custom hard scale, show frames. Okay, fine. Wow, it's got Toby eye tracking. Nice. That's pretty rare feature. Extras. Achievement benchmark credits. Okay. Play demo, short demo, talisman. Okay. Interesting, there's a demo option? Fascinating. Um, the fact there's a benchmarking option and the fact that it's got the Toby eye tracking. Interesting. For my functional, loading child parameters. Child program parameters. Okay. Ooh. Mechanical Android hand? Alrighty. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, 
if you are worthy. Oh, is there? Oh, hang on. Mouse sensitive is fine. View bobbing. Oh, I suppose first. Oh no, it's got a uh, over left shoulder. Yep, over left shoulder. Player speed. Oh yeah, let's go slow because that was immediately seemed. That's better. Do I want to see that I'm a robot? Maybe. Also, yeah, slow is fine. How fast would you be if you are fast? Uh, actually, no, let's go first person. Uh, show hints or first person. Yes. What does that even mean? Alright. Yeah, I think we might go first person. Okay, so something to note. Um, in real ancient Greece and ancient Rome, these statues were not white. They were coloured, brightly painted. All the flesh was painted as well. Um, which also means though that the mosaics additionally should be painted as well. In that the mosaic, the clothing on the mosaics. Are they, sorry, no they're not mosaics, they're um, uh, fresco. The clothing of the people in the fresco in general should not be white. See the the colours? Though most of these are coloured. But yes, the statues should be painted in the same way. Initiating child program logic check. Oh my god, look at the stonework! <gasps> okay, that's very good. That's very good. Okay, so I have been. Oh, look at the brickwork. So these are, these are Roman bricks, which were very long and skinny. Um, I've been to. been to Rome and to Italy and to Pompeii. This is. This is just exactly, exactly the kind of bricks that you would see there. Okay, so logic check, hey? Interesting. What do we have? We have a... Take the Gemma. Okay. Alright. Complex task management. Oh. Uh, interesting. Can we take it from this side? No. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's fine. Just wanted to check. You know that you don't not meant to take the jammer with you. Can we jump in here? We can jump. Okay. Calibration successful. Basic calibration. All oh, the cicadas. Whoa! There's another jammer down the side here. Interesting, isn't it? 
It's red. And it's glowing. It's red and black. And if it's red and black, it must be bad, right? Spatial awareness, okay. Predictive capacity, okay. I don't know where I am, but there's something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Version 17.10054. Okay, interesting. As in the year 54? Or something else. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Have a nice day. Interesting. I mean, that looks like a sigil from the distance, doesn't it? Like, it looks like a picture. So it's a training program for an AI. I am that AI in this game, it looks like. Interesting. I find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works. I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other lest I fall through the floor. 1W slash faith. Version 10.1.0. Are these messages from previous iterations of intelligences? Interesting. Look, I have not played a full on serious puzzle game since playing a Witness. I then that was that was a while ago. Is my brain up for this? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? People. Oh, over there, see? Huh, okay. Interesting. I additionally have no concept of how long this game is, how involved it is. Okay. 
Uh, I see. Wow, you can sprint like nobody's business. Alright. Can we do it through the fence? Oh, no, what happened? Oh, no. Oh, I see. I cannot take it through the glowing thing. Right. Okay. Did I get it? Maybe. Sure did. Um, but if I do this... Oh, I see. Not quite. Right, jam that one. Then we pick up this one. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, maybe we'll just take it out here, right? Jam that one. Ah, uh, hang on. Um, let's just jam this one from an angle. Oh, actually, can I even jam that one from here? No. Okay, jam that one from there. need this sigil to open the gate to my temple, but it may serve you in times to come. Okay. <clears throat> so, I've just done something in the wrong order. But that's fine. That is, in fact, the way we roll. Oh, I see yellow, green, 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 green. And something. Alright, look, let's just get the yellow one as well. Actually, let's just walk out, work our way around, shall we? <clears throat> uh, the Witness was a bang up game. Oh my goodness, I had to think so hard. I enjoyed it so much. But yeah, it was, um, it was full on. Only the two of us. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been ill uh, with a giant cough for some extended period of time and it's still not gone yet. So there will be times during this recording where I just move the mic and just have a good old cough. <laughs> if it goes on for too long, I'll like pause and then come back. Actually, speaking of pausing and coming back, uh, where's that one? I s oh no, it's on the other side. Can I get it from here? Where is it there? Yep, I can get it from here, okay. Uh, speaking of pausing, uh, I'm actually gonna take a short break now. I will be back soon. See you shortly. And I'm back. Alrighty. Oh, can I jam this from where? Oh, I see. Nope, we need to be clever about this, don't we? Um. I'm presumably we only have two, right? Okay. 
Can I jam both at the same time? Can I jam both at the same time? No. Or can I? Oh, I see. Right. Because I've got to get it to the inside. Right, there we go. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Okay. Alright, so obviously green is temple, yellow is something else. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Yeah, right, so I get the green bits and I put them together in a Tetris puzzle. Okay. Cute. <gasps> Watch me go <gasps> right to left. Huh, okay. Striding the beaten path. Interesting, what are we doing here? Don't be that close! Okay, right. Hmm. What's the best way to do this? Where's that one go? He just goes left to right. What I want to do though is not jam this guy. I think we just want to come over here and just go like this. Ah, come on. Oh, what? I can't jam through the fence? No. No, you can't jam through the fence. Oh, okay. So I think I want to. The guardians right. of this land may harm you, <clears throat> but do not <throat> resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Right. Okay. I would have preferred to do the entire thing without actually dying. That would have been great. But, okay. Right. Oh, cute. Very cute. Well done, child. Thanks. Only one more sigil is needed. Okay. And just to make this easy. Got, if I need one more sigil, why do you have two more paths? Two more green paths. Oh. I see. So I've picked up an L 
I had two two different options for doing an L. Hmm, all right, let's do another L. Outnumbered. So is that there's like a a fast way to do this? Is there? So you don't have to do all the puzzles. You can just pick and choose, which is interesting. Okay, so. There is a jammer there. Sorry, it's a barrier there, which is stopping a ball getting through to us. Okay. Like, sorry, I'm just looking at absolutely everything. Huh. If I do that... Can I jam it from here? I think maybe... Yep. So you're just gonna go back and forth? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well done. But you possess this sigil in abundance already. Sure. Am I going to get in trouble for having too many? The voice was quite interesting, wasn't it? It's like, yes, good job. But that's not what I've asked you to do. Oh, the, oh, the face. The sigils are lining up behind my face. I've just realised. So there's like a little list of the sigils across the top. A switch out of reach. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got here? I guess that's the switch up there on the building. Uh, we have a laser scanner thingy. Uh, we have a zappy guy. Going back and forth. So all the zappy guys just go back and forth. Good to know. We have a laser scanner. Huh. Oh. Interesting. So I seem to need to get up there to flick the switch to turn off the laser. Interesting. Okay, and what do we have? We just have the one... I guess, I mean, I guess I'll pick it up now. What have we got here? Oh, I see. We have to jam that so that we can get through here. Is there anything extra over there? There must be, right? There must be something else. Because otherwise, why do we need... Yeah, okay, so we can walk around the back if we can jam him. Okay, so which means we need to flick the switch. Well, the switch is not... I mean, it's not exactly out of reach, is it? I don't... I don't have any difficulty comparisons. My temple game. awaits you, child. Go forth. Okay, I will. Uh, I don't, yeah, have any difficulty comparisons here? For what this is like compared to X other game? Right, so... Right, so now what we do, yeah, okay, so we're gonna put together um, the puzzle. Oh no, uh, how do we rotate? Ooh, no. Ha! 
smarter than it looks. these ones. Also, no. Yes. Not as hard as it looked. Symmetrical, even. It's interesting how your brain works. Like, I'm sure somebody watching this has just gone, like, no, what are you doing? It's just this. But maybe it, your brain might have worked differently for the other puzzles. Are we going to look at it? No, we are not. Not yet. We are a cautious android. old computer. Interesting. Connecting network drives. Uh, oh, inaccessible. Milton Lion. Oh, unresponsive. Huh. Duh. Unknown command. Help. Oh, oh, I see. We have to click. Instead of typing. That's friendly. List, open file name, help, run MLA, exit. List. Okay, read welcome. From Nadia Sarabahi at Institute for Applied N to Alexandra Drennan. No meatics. Welcome to the team. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you're nervous, but the truth is that. That, so was I. You may be hard to believe, but you're, you intimidate me. You're so young, you've already accomplished so much. The situation wasn't so grim, I might be jealous. Um, let's also, there's also something I want to clarify. I realize that, normally speaking, I'm the head researcher here. This is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure! Let's do this. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, Athena. Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides, Chapter 6. Do not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such an ability, that it was hard not to follow them further into this strange garden of gears and cogs. That led her to a place where the crowns of brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the wisdom of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have tried to come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step, for you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say Hercules. Blah, 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 zip, dip, ooh. Oh, wait, is that a code? Is that a code? <laughs> Best way to get hold of a code, to take note down a code? You take a picture on your phone. Yes, you do. Um, Hercules F low, file load. Gazing on the stars and wept. Figure it out. The way I see it, the world doesn't come at you with a manual. You've got to figure it out yourself. A bit here, a bit there. Put it together. Subject F6E. Trying, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean that everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. 
Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young, you've got loads of time to figure it all out. Dad. Uh... Okay. See, I want to do open file name, but we don't actually have an option. We don't, there's not the flexibility to type whatever here. So let's load the library assistant again. Uh -huh. Do you understand what I'm saying? <gasps> understand is a strong word, but yes. Uh, describe your functions. Sort classified data in the library archive. Secondly, it functions facilitates user interface. Networking troubleshooting features. Ah, okay. What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? Process and respond to basic subject, verb, object syntax. Okay. Um, what are these terminals? Ah, no. What is this terminal? This is the only terminal I've seen. I shouldn't know of the existence or even postulate the existence of future terminals. It's kind of interesting playing one of these games. You have to play it as the innocent, as the character that you're playing. And then in, there's like another layer, which is the experiences that I, as I see, bring to this. How long has the system been running? Nine, 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 nine years. Interesting. The current status of the archive. 47 million resources, taking up 5 petabytes of disk. 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, entire internet in 2003. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's all corrupted or invalid. 10 gigabytes of uncorrupted resources listed. Cause the corruption. Over time. Inconsistencies during sorting. Greater than average data invalidation. I mean, it was the internet. Um, okay. Can you respond to queries in the outside world? Maybe. The noun for god or gods in modern ancient Hebrew. I see. What am I? You're logged in with a guest account. <laughs> no, I didn't say who am I. I said what am I? Where am I? You are currently in the support session with the MLA human interface. Your library archive session may resume at any time. How old are they? We did that. Oh no, we didn't. 1995 to 27th of June 203F? As in hexadecimal? As in at some point we shifted from... What does that convert to? So is it 20, 203 F hexar decimal? So that converts to 8,255. Okay. I mean, you could still write that though, right? You don't need to switch to hexadecimal. Alright, I think we're done. Yeah, because we get list and then we can only open what we can open. Interesting. So is it the year 8,800 and something?
maybe. Sorry, I have to cough. Androids don't need to cough. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. I don't want to. See, I mean, I just said then, right? Ah, no, see? We do. We need two more symbols. We need the bar and the yellow L before we do that, I think. Did I say you need to... You know, you're playing as an innocent, but even though I'm playing as an innocent, I'm, um, I am unable to avoid playing this as a player who's played a lot of these games, who wants to go and do all of the side quests and get My all of child, the things first. You do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Okay, so this is a game design choice. If they really, really, really want me to go to the temple, then that should not be a passable door. You should just be able to make it so that... You don't have to go through. How are we going to do this? Let's just have a little look here around. Alright, I think we need to jam this first. I'm concerned. Oh, no, I see. Right. Yeah, we have to keep it jammed from a distance because if I pick up this one, I'm too close and I would get myself zapped. So now we can jam. Uh, this one. And now we can jam this one and it should bounce back and forth, but it's out of the way. So we can remove this one and pick up the green stick. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, 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 I understand. But if you don't want me to do these in whatever order I want to, then you should not let me. It shouldn't be possible. Trio Bombastus. Ah, uh, see, he's not even saying now. He's just like giving up. He's like, oh, whatever. Do whatever you want. Interesting. Oh, so we've only got one. Oh, interesting. Huh, how are we going to do this? Okay, I think we just do it in order, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a, is it as simple as that? It's as simple as that, isn't it? Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. Alright, so I guess we'll go up to the temple now, shall we? Oh, no, what's that? A 
star. I haven't seen a star. I mean, it's not like there's much here. Step into the light then. Ooh. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. Oh. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Me and my brothers and sisters. Ah, we have our list of puzzles to solve. Some sort of super cool jammer. Uh, do the puzzles get the tools to unlock the next puzzle? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we go to two, that gives us the two more that finish puzzle A, which is sitting behind my head. So I can pick. Okay, so four would give me the other puzzle, which would give me the little scannery thing. Ha! Huh. Okay, so puzzle A solves that one. We'll go down and we'll solve puzzle A. But I think that's probably something we can do next time. So thank you very much for joining me for the Talos Principle. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, not too hard so far, but obviously this was the introductory level. Let's see how we go. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see other puzzle games, do check out the playlist for uh, The Witness uh, on this channel, uh, which is where I go through like a super long one. Very interesting game. Worth playing. Very worth playing. Uh, but yeah, come follow me over on twitch.tv slash ICYIC, where I stream four days a week. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.